Alaskan Malamutes are a powerful and beautiful breed, but have you ever wondered how well they get on with other animals or with children? Maybe you're thinking of adding a Malamute to your family, but you're unsure how well they'll fit in. Well, stick around because today we're going to find out more about this wonderful breed. Welcome back to the Fenrir Malamute Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Alaskan Malamutes, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Malamutes. So if you're a lifelong Malamute lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Malamute, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Malamute video. So let's dive into today's video. Male Malamutes can reach 25 inches in height and can weigh a staggering 100 pounds. Females are usually smaller and lighter. Malamutes have thick double coats that shed a lot all year round, but especially in spring and autumn. They have long hair and so require a little more grooming maintenance. Their coats come in a variety of different colours, including grey and white, solid white and seal and white. But enough about aesthetics, now let's take a look at how the Malamute's personality and how social they are. Firstly, it's important to note that as working dogs, Malamutes are highly energetic and require hours of exercise every day. Without plenty of exercise as well as mental stimulation, they will become quickly bored and resort to destructive behaviours. Although they're highly intelligent, they can also be stubborn, often making them tricky to train. This breed is not recommended for novice owners or those unfamiliar with the breed. It is very important that they are trained consistently and socialised with a steady, experienced hand from a young age, or they will and can develop all sorts of negative behaviours and become incredibly difficult to handle. This working history does also mean that Malamutes have a very high prey drive. They can be compelled to stalk and kill smaller animals such as birds, squirrels and even cats. For this reason, it's essential that you're confident your Malamute has perfect recall before you can even think about letting it off the lead. It's not impossible for a Malamute to live under the same roof as other small pets, but this would, again, require consistent and dedicated socialisation from a very experienced canine leader. Even then, your Malamute should never be left alone unsupervised with smaller animals. Malamutes are often aggressive towards other dogs as well, especially if you introduce another dog of the same gender into the household. This is a breed that is definitely best suited to being the only pet in the home. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel Malamutes are very friendly towards people and are very welcoming and receptive to strangers often greeting everyone they meet as a friend they have a constant need to spend time around people and will want to be with their family regularly they will not tolerate being left alone for extended periods of time. So if you're out most of the day and there won't be someone around for your Malamute, then it's likely to not be a suitable breed for you. They are suited to a busy and dynamic household, which will provide them with plenty of opportunities to build strong, affectionate bonds with people who are ready to give them the attention they crave. Malamutes are also good with older children as they are affectionate and will really enjoy the extra playtime. However, because of their large size and boundless energy, caution should always be taken as they can easily knock over smaller children. Play between your Malamute and children should absolutely always be supervised and it's vital that you teach any child how to appropriately behave around dogs. The Malamute can make a wonderful, intelligent and lively companion in the right home. However, to achieve this, they do require experienced leadership, consistent training and plenty of socialisation right from the moment you bring them into your home. They are not suited for homes with other pets, especially not small animals, but will get on well with families with older children. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. 
Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Malamute videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malamute Show.